Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to keep seeing videos on tech, just like this one. So as you can see, I am actually in the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360's camera app. That's a huge mouthful, by the way. But um, yeah, I'm in the camera app because we're going to go over the cameras on this device as well as the microphones. We're just going to go over all of the settings that I can find um, in the cameras app. Um, apparently, it's a huge upgrade over last year's regular Galaxy Book Pro 360. So um, yeah, we're going to see how much of an upgrade it is, if the quality is any good, if you'll be able to use it for Zoom calls or even content creation so yeah I'm not gonna hold you any longer let's just get into it i'm about to be on been on this mission since i first left home back up my bags like i'm grown told myself to show myself to do no wrongs like i'm about to be on been on this mission since i first left home back up my bags like i'm grown all right, guys, so as I stated before, right now I am in the camera app, but I am using my Sony ZV-1 as of now. So let's just go ahead and switch to the 1080p front-facing camera on the Galaxy Book uh, 2 Pro 360. So um, you would switch it just by clicking this button that says change camera up here. This does not have a back camera. It only has a front-facing camera that is right above the screen. So let me just switch it. And this is what the camera looks like on the um, Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. So uh, this is 1080p. I was also recording in 1080p on the uh, Sony ZV-1. So um, yeah, this is what the quality would be like. Um, it's not too bad for calls or anything. Um, the lighting in my room is kind of average. Uh, let me just switch it one more time. So this is my Sony camera and then this is the camera for the app so um yeah um not too bad um in my opinion um it can be a little noisy um as you can see it can it looks a little soft and um it doesn't catch light as well as the bigger sensor on my zv1 of course but um that's like a dedicated video camera and this is just a camera on a laptop so of course the quality is going to be different so not really complaining about that at all all right so the first thing that we're going to do is just go over all of these toggles um so to the right uh, these are the toggles that i was referring to um again this is the camera app so um again this is the change camera button i do have my zv1 hooked up so when i switch to that i'm just going to go to my zv1 and click it again I'm just going to go back to that uh, 1080p front facing camera and um to the right you see uh you do have a dedicated video mode so you can record videos up to 1080p again you can record um f uh, you could do photographs i'm sorry you could take photographs on this as well and you can even scan barcodes um haven't checked the accuracy of that but it should be uh, fairly easy because barcodes are really easy to scan all right so now we're going to go to the settings of this camera app um so the settings of course are here at the top um, you do get a few uh, toggles right here uh i'm in the video settings right now as you can see so the only video setting that you can get is adjusting this brightness and then uh, you do get some camera settings um, you can um, adjust the brightness again and you can set a timer but this does change when you enter pro mode that will be our first uh, setting here at the top so when you turn pro mode off um, you'll be able to select um, HDR on or HDR off and you can um, set a timer on here um, as well so um, yeah those are all the camera settings and then video settings are there any okay so when you don't have promo turned on you don't have any video settings um, on this front screen of the camera app next to the viewfinder so um, we're just gonna keep promo turned on um, you do get a framing grid and you get a few options that's your rule of thirds uh, you get crosshairs you get golden ratio and then you get um, a square grid so lots of options in the grid section um, and then you can uh, adjust your photo quality here you can go as high as 1080p um, and then as low as 240p you do get a time lapse mode similar to what you would see um, in a uh, smartphone 
And then here are your uh, video resolution. So the max resolution that you can do on this is 1080, uh, 30 frames per second. I thought I saw 60 before, like when I was just playing around in the app before, but not 100%. If you guys know we can get 60 frames per second on this, um, let me know. I highly doubt it if uh, none of these other options are having 60 frames per second. But um, below us that you can get is 240p and 30 frames per second. And you also get like a flicker reduction. I'm not really sure uh, what that does, but I keep it at 60 because I know the max refresh rate that this screen can get is uh, 60 hertz. So uh, that's why I have it at 60 now. Um, you could also ha you also have some other settings in regards to like location and privacy. So um, if you want geotagging and things like that turned on, you definitely want to keep this on here, and um, you have a few privacy settings as well. So yeah, they also do have a beta beta program that you can sign up for and then uh you get your time terms of use and your uh privacy statement and you can send feedback for this camera app okay so the last thing that i want to talk about in this camera app is studio mode so whenever you open up your camera in any application that you use that uses this front camera um studio mode will pop up at the bottom it's just these little uh quick options that you see right here so you get face effects that's going to be like your face smoothing and things like that and um, you get a background effect so you could change the background um behind you and this is for any app again i think that's really cool that samsung implemented this and then you get auto framing and then you get a uh, pause option i'm going to show you how all of this works in an actual uh, video app so i can show you guys it's like cross compatible uh, between apps and i'm going to show you guys what the microphone sounds like okay guys so right now i am in the google meet web app um, i got in here because i want to show you guys what the quality would look like in a third party like web conferencing app because a lot of people do use their laptop cameras uh, for video conferencing and i think this is just perfectly fine for that um, not too good, um, but it's not terrible. Uh, 1080p should be just fine for your web conferencing purposes. And um, I also wanted to, you guys to hear how good the microphone sound. Um, in my opinion, it did sound a little bit robotic, but um, a lot of people are not using like professional grade mics to do meetings. But um, if you do want to invest in that, I highly suggest picking up a uh, fine, fine mic like I have. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the uh, Google Meet app. And um, another cool thing about the camera on the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 is that um, all of the third party um, applications in which you would use this support studio mode. So um, this is studio mode right here. Uh, these are all of the studio mode settings. And um, I think it's really cool actually. So you get your face effects, um, you can adjust. Um, let me try to do that again. Um, you get face effects. Um, I have it off because I don't like my face smoothed out. I like everything to look natural, but um, you could change um, you could change this so that it like smooths out your face more. And you could even do um, custom settings to like adjust smoothness and uh, make it look like you're wearing makeup. I'm not gonna do that because it's kind of looks kind of weird um, on my <laughs> skin anyway. But um, yeah, um, I thought those studio mode settings were pretty cool. Um, you also do get a background effect. So let me turn on some background blur on this camera. And as you can see, um, I do not have to turn on background blur in Google Meets. Everything is working right here from the studio mode. So that's really cool. And you also can uh, change colors. You can change the uh, background if you want. Let me just do a green. Let's make myself a green screen. And I'm going to hit OK. And look how fast that was. I got a completely green screen using this uh, studio mode. So I'm going to turn all of this on now off i'm sorry let's turn all of that off now so that i can use auto framing i thought this was a really cool feature so um it catches you um like you're the subject when you move around your camera moves with you a little bit so right now i'm at my desk moving around and i'm being reframed so yeah it's pretty fast not too bad these may be useful for some people. I probably never, like, never use these settings except for the uh, background blur. Um, I do like to use that to get some of my office knocked out um, when I'm in a meeting or something. Um, and the last option is the pause option. So as you can see right now, I am paused. I'm just going to hit resume again and I'm right back. So yeah, you can use all of these studio mode settings in any web conferencing app. Um, I think this is extremely useful especially if you use like a video conferencing that's not as powerful as Zoom or Google Meet that doesn't have all of these options. You can still like blur out your background 
or um, smooth your face if you want to do that or turn on auto framing. So yeah, uh, the, this is what studio mode will look like in a video conferencing app. Okay guys, I am recording this video directly from the Galaxy Bud 2 Pro 360's uh, camera app. I just wanted to see if there was like any difference in between uh, just seeing the viewfinder when I was screen recording and then um, just like the quality of it when I'm actually like recording a video. I wanted to see if there's any post-processing or anything. Uh, let me know if you see any in the comments. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Overall, I definitely, uh, my favorite thing about this camera is probably the software that comes with it, but um, just quick summary, um, the photos, really bad um i really don't like the photos taken on this laptop but not a lot of people take pictures on laptops um so it may not be a big deal for most people um it's just you really need like a lot of lighting to make the photos salvageable so um highly suggest not using this to take like professional pictures or anything like that but um the video quality is pretty good for uh, 1080p i'd say it's about average um for a laptop um nothing like really crazy good about it except for that software i definitely Definitely think studio mode is going to be super useful for a lot of people especially like me um, i'm going to use that black ground blur on the studio mode a lot if i'm ever like video conferencing in an app that doesn't have like a native um background blur i will definitely be using studio mode um to help with that the microphones on it um i'd say probably are average for a laptop um not really bad um but not great either if you don't like that robotic sound at all, I highly suggest just picking up another microphone like this fine, fine one that I have. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. If you have any more questions about the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, let me know in the comments and um, I'll try to make a designated video about it if I have the time. So, yeah, I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. I really appreciate you for watching this video. See you next time.